Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and I wanted to make sure that I took the time today to wish all the fathers happy Father's Day, and I also wanted to make sure that I included in this our friend Sarasota Tim. So I have been not obviously watching or reacting to as much of his content this week, well, I'm still keeping an eye on Tim. So I just wanted to make sure that he knew I had not forgot him. But anyway, you know how it goes, guys. I got to get my disclaimers out real fast. And then we're going to go take a look at Tim, Tim's stuff. Okay. So let me just get, let me just roll the disclaimers out in case Tim is an extremely litigious person or he has attorneys in his back pocket I might not be aware of. So let me just put these out. Obviously, we're just going to be making commentary. I'm going to transform his content so that it's fair use. And always, I just want to say, even though I am a registered nurse and trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, this is just my opinion. I don't treat a diagnose on my channel. I just uh, take a look at people and see their charisma, cults of personality, how they potentially could manipulate audiences and so forth. It's pretty simple. So yeah, that was quick, hey? So yeah, let me make me small. Let me make Tim big because he is obviously spitting out the videos today. Uh, we've got, uh, I think he started out with, I apologize for the, uh, uh <laughs> very professional, Ray. Uh, he started out, it looks like, oh, he's been checking out new homes. Look at this. Wow. That's 17 minutes of Tim coveting houses over here. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> he's really, really uh, wanting to give up the minimalism life, isn't he, from the looks of this. Then we've got, he's over to Dutch Brothers Ice Coffee. Again, it's the best he's ever had in his life. I'm sure that's been paid by his coffee uh, donations, and hopefully he paid it forward. Um, played golf with a young guy. He's 24. Um, not a great number of views on that one. Uh, then he went off to the Highlander, uh, he, or he got some Highlander grog at the Sinclair gas station. Again, it was the best cup of coffee he ever had in his life. And uh, this is the one we're going to look at today. And then, of course, he's crushing it for Christ. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And uh, obviously not many people interested in that. So, yeah, we're going to actually take a look at his uh, morning one, the Highlander Grog Coffee at Sinclair. That's the one we're going to be looking at. Okay, Tim. So let me make you big here. Let me share this tab instead. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, why does it do that? No, it needs to be big. Thank you. Okay. It's quick. Um, let me speed him up to 1.25 to make it even quicker. Because he tends to talk a little slowly for me. And uh, we need to get through this material quickly, Tim. So I saw that he had a really bad sunburn the other day. And then I just wanted to touch on what Ms. Vicky was saying about the body acclimating to different types of temperatures. So we'll take a little, I'll just sort of bring you over to a little bit of information about that and we'll round it up for this video. Okay, Tim, let's see what you got going on today because I haven't reacted to you in a little bit. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim, coming to you from Sinclair. Okay, all right. Um, what's up with his voice? <laughs> I don't want to laugh because people will say I'm unprofessional but I'm just hearing that his voice sounds very hoarse. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And now he sounds even hoarser with him sped up to 1.25. Okay, carry on, Tim. Player gas station here in Cedar City. I'm actually in New Harmony, uh, Southern Utah. And I had to make this video. Uh, okay, tell me why you had to make this video, and then I'll tell you that I have questions about why you're in a convenience store of a gas station or petrol station as i would call it filming content why are you unable to walk into a building without filming it for content you understand you are sharing these spaces 
with other people who may not feel comfortable that you're walking around filming everything. People don't like that. All right, Tim. Even though I can't talk, because look what they have here. I came in here for the best cup of coffee I ever drank in my life, and look what they have. Are you watching, Miss Deb, the retired barber? Look what I've got here for uh, coffee at the Sinclair uh, gas station. They have multiple pumps. It's a huge gas station. But look at that. So I'm in. I'm getting that right now. And uh, they have these other brands here, too. I'm going with the medium. I'm going to doctor it up a little bit. The last thing Tim needs is to be more caffeinated most of the time. <laughs> especially on anything that strong. Uh, he's always trying to convince people that the money they send him is going to this, you know, coffee fund. I promise you, the amount of money sent and the amount of coffee he's drinking don't add up together. But, uh, wow, his voice is, is pretty rough. I wonder how many days he's been um, dealing with laryngitis. I wouldn't suggest talking too much, otherwise it could be even worse. It's the one time teachers used to like getting laryngitis. You feel okay, but you obviously can't do your job. <laughs> I cannot believe it. First time in my life. Look at it coming out of there, boy. Oh, yeah. Now, what do we got? Coffee made creamer? Half and half? They know what I like. Goodness. Run away. Oh. Mr. Oh my goodness. Here comes. Keep on coming. I like a lot of it. Uh, if you were more focused on pouring your coffee and less focused on trying to make content, you may not make a mess that the people who actually work and have those prison jobs, as you like to refer the, to them as, would uh, not have to clean this up after you. Oh, okay. Carry on, Tim. Carry on. Keep on coming. I got my coffee. I know that looks like a lot, but I don't see the stuff raising up. That should be plenty there. Let me stir it now. Here we go. Where's the stirring stuff? Right here. Oh. I cannot believe this. Oh, I'm sure. It's a convenience store at a gas station. It has all these things set up. You, know, you would have a meltdown if you went to a Wawa and saw how they set up their coffee bowl <laughs> and, and food. They've got a whole thing of it with a whole station in the middle with a bunch of flavors and milks and you name it it's there then they have like probably like five or six flavors of coffee tim, tim would have a meltdown in a wawa <laughs> oh my goodness okay keep going i'm so excited I'm trying to get my little stir out here we go got it <laughs> seriously <laughs> Well, I hear some Can't music in the, the speakers coming out. Hopefully you won't hear it with my microphone. I don't know what's going on with my voice, but it's not going to stop me. Let me try this out. You ready? But you can't stop, Tim. You crank out about five or six videos a day, and I understand why. Because I saw how it made difference in my own channel when I was cranking out five or six videos a day along with you. My views increased enormously. So YouTube likes that. I was surprised I didn't get in trouble for cranking out so many videos. But uh, yeah, that's why you have to keep going. You can't afford for your money maker to uh, go down. Seriously, this is he's in a public place. That's a very familiar taste. Highlander Grog. Oh my gosh. You ain't going to believe it. That's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. Man. I think you've tired that tagline out. <laughs> Every cup of coffee you have is the best in your life. I guess it's just getting the caffeine in your system is what you enjoy. Is that why it's always good? Because it's caffeinated and you, you're getting that caffeine kick? <laughs> I'm just curious. I just cannot believe he's in a public establishment. And he's filming himself drinking a cup of coffee. It's just very interesting that he considers all aspects of his life to be worthy of social media content. And he uses it because he'll have a few thousand people click on to it and watch it. And uh, obviously I'm watching it, but for a different reason. And he'll make money if he gets out, you know, 
even five of these videos and he's hitting 3,000 views, say on average. I don't even think he's getting those types of views anymore, but you know, say he's getting, um, you know, at least up to 10 between all the videos. He'll, he'll make a little bit of money that day, you know, and I don't know what his RPM is. Uh, and so I can't really say how much he makes per view, but he definitely does need to, you know, that's why I think he cranks out so much. I need to do the analytics on mine because it was, it was, it was interesting to see how it does change your channel when you're cranking out so much content. <laughs> that is good coffee for sure. You guys come to the Sinclair gas station right here in Cedar city or uh, new harmony. We got oh, the mountain roast, 100% Colombian. The Highlander Grog, and then the Java Flow. Fantastic. I'm telling you folks, it's the best cup of coffee you ever drink in your life. I'm not going to get anything else because i got to watch what I eat. This tea will be here in a week. So it's just coffee for me. Let me go over here and cash out. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound like a very healthy start for the day. Actually, when you restrict food in that way, you could potentially overeat later on i would recommend that you enjoy five or six small small meals throughout the day because that would be better for you i certainly wouldn't and if you're taking any medications um i don't know if it would be beneficial to have food along with it but anyway it's tim i mean at least have something a piece of fruit something <sighs> Well, that's not a healthy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise coffee to be breakfast. Oh, now we've got him sitting in the gas station. Well, at least he's not taking up a pump this time. So that's an improvement. Shows a little bit more consideration. My phone keeps wanting to connect to the Bluetooth, and I got to tell you, <clears throat> this is the best cup of coffee I ever drink in my life. That Highlander Grog here at the uh, Sinclair gas station. You can see behind me they got. I don't know, 20 pumps. I mean, it's a big place. It's like a Wawa or something. I'll be coming here every day. <laughs> That's so funny. I did not know he was going to say Wawa. I promise you, I never watched these videos ahead of time. And I was saying about how he would have a meltdown in the Wawa. Well, the one by my house, I mean, they have a whole like sandwich bar and like a whole food thing. I mean, I have a friend of mine, every time he goes out to the gym, every afterwards, he always goes to Wawa to get his breakfast sandwich. I mean, he loves that place. I mean, it's, it's popping at the Wawa. And uh, <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys, Ugh. I'm sorry, but I have to tell you because if I don't have anything else good today happen, I've reached the pinnacle. All right. So I told the lady, I said, I can't believe you got Highlander Grog here. Well, Tim, it's Father's Day. You are, I know you're aware because you did a Crushing It for Christ about it, which I refuse to listen to. <laughs> but uh, what are you doing for Father's Day? Um, just curious. You've not mentioned being a father yet. Um, anyway, I, I think we know kind of his role as a paternal figure. <laughs> it's not it's great. It's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my life. Oh, goodness. I told her that. I said, it's the best cup of coffee I've ever drank in my mm. life. <laughs> she goes, yeah, it is good. And uh, oh. I said, yeah, I'm a YouTuber and I have a subscriber oh. that sent me a, a big box of bag of it. And uh, it really is good coffee. I said, I've never seen that before. At the oh, no. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that he <laughs> decided to tell the poor lady who's just trying to do her job that he is got a YouTube channel. Why must you share this information with everybody? Has this been the biggest accomplishment in your life, Tim? Having this YouTube channel? I'm, I'm thinking it must be because you're so proud of it. And I don't know why, because your content's dire, but you're very proud of it. Um, it's a dying channel, I think, but uh, you're proud of it. Yeah, uh, your likelihood of reaching 100K is pretty slim, too, at this time. But, you know. Gas station. And she says, really? I said, yeah. I said, I'll be coming here every day. And so I definitely wanted to buy somebody a cup of coffee or whatever, you know, next in line. And now what's in this cardboard box? Oh, it, have the cowboy hats disappeared, I see? So what happened to cowboy Tim? It's just golf club Tim now, hey? It's just... 
for somebody who talks about minimalism, you need to change that out of your channel description, Tim, because this is not anything that says minimalism. This says chronic hoarding, in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Nothing changed with Tim, hey? I heard he had a very bad sunburn, though. Not good. So Not I see bad. a guy coming, and I've, I've got my uh, my phone, you know, an Apple Pay with my selfie stick so I can reach it out there, you know. And uh, he could barely get to the counter. He had all these uh, power drinks, you know, like Red Bulls and stuff. Then he had him a, a styrofoam uh, ice drink, like a Coke or something, probably. Uh, he looked like he was uh, late 30s, mm. you know, 40-year-old, mm. uh, nice-looking uh, man. Oh, and uh, <laughs> he had his card at me. He's going. Uh, Tim, Tim, um, <laughs> maybe not uh, talk about whether this gentleman was nice looking or not. OK, that sounds uh, interesting that you would want to point that out. And again, he's told I'm sure he's going to say he he paid it forward. Of which we never see the evidence. Try and beat me. He didn't know. And I had to tell him, I said, I go, wait, can you wait a second? He goes, what for? <laughs> That's what he said. And then, uh, why do I feel like something is off with this person? Since you were somebody who used to move your housing in order to avoid paying rent, allegedly, I just, I just, I don't buy this. Uh, something about it does not sit well with me. It's the way he laughs. It just feels wrong. Like it's not really happening. And uh, we'll take a look. And he's, he's kicked up on his coffee donations again. So we're going to make sure we highlight that. Because when we do, it seems to to stop the donations a little bit. I, I was waiting for her to make sure she got that Coke, you know, and rung up everything. And he wanted to pay. And I, I just reached a selfie stick over. And he said, he said, thank you very much. Shook my hand, said happy Father's Day, meant it sincerely, had a good firm handshake, and told me, I'll pay it forward. <laughs> Folks, I'm teared up. Oh, gosh. <sighs> God, God, it was good. I'm sorry. He's such a scam artist, in my opinion. I'm sorry. I just find this very disingenuous, having watched so much of his content and how he just seems to manipulate his audience into wanting to send him money i just i don't buy it i don't buy it this is a man who used to you know try to live rent free off of his friends in florida so i just don't buy it tim i don't buy it i'm sorry i just don't it really was good something not sitting with me i right. know i made his day it's father's day he made my day <clears throat> i'd have done it for anybody I'm glad it was a father. Ugh. Why don't you take this energy towards your own family rather than strangers? If this is truly happening. A lot of people don't get a good feeling about you, Tim. A lot of people don't. So I, you know, you send off my, my nurse spidey senses. <laughs> Not in a good way. All right. Continue with this uh, story. And uh, apparently he had drinks for everybody. So now he can go back and tell, <clears throat> and then he'll pay it forward. So here in Utah and on Father's Day, with no voice, we're crushing it. Mm. I don't think so. Oh, let me stop sharing that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Let me stop sharing that. <laughs> Obviously, I always get these odd things that want to come up on my chair. Oh, right after I do my reactions. Goodness, I need to stop it sooner. But anyway, um, let me get over. I did bring up his coffee. So let me bring up that. Uh, it's not to shame the people that sent him coffee. It's just funny because there was a while when people, uh, he kind of had a stop when Darling had pointed out some stuff. And then now, again, this person bought him a coffee. Hi, Tim. Thanks for your continued uh, daily positivity that you share with your community. Keep crushing it, my friend. What positivity? It's a lot of his content, he's so negative. I'm very confused. Hey, Tim, grab a couple of cups on me. Keep up the great content. Crush it. These, this is a cult, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, it's and then Elizabeth Brooks bought three. 
So that's fifteen thirty-five dollars for what? Thirty-five dollars for what? Ah, oh, my goodness! Two hundred and eighty-three people have sent Tim coffee. I find that incredible. I do want to thank the people who do buy me a coffee, though. I don't want people to think, you know, because I started to buy me a coffee too. Because let me bring myself up a little bit bigger. Uh, because Tim, uh, let me do it that way. Tim had uh given me the idea. And so thank you guys, because my coffee donations help me pay for my upcoming grad school books. So if you want to help a graduate student who's trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I certainly do appreciate all the people who've donated to my coffee um, as well. And I hopefully have better content than Tim. I'm not sure, but yeah. Okay, let's look at the last thing I wanted to take a look at, because Miss Vicky was discussing the other day about bodies acclimating to different temperatures and whether it would take time to go from, say, like humidity to drier heat, such as Tim is in currently in the desert, and, you know, what happens there. So it's basically the hypothalamus is the part of the body that helps regulate body temperature. And uh, that's the uh, internal, and it responds to what they call internal and external stimuli. So, and, and making adjustments to keep the body within one to two degrees of 98.6. So that the hypothalamus is what's going to regulate that. And so it's obviously that's what does. It is sensitive to different things. Um, and I just wanted to kind of point out a little bit about heat stroke. Uh, and it would say that obviously on most days, the hypothalamus reacts to increase in outdoor temperatures by sending messages to the blood vessels, telling them to dilate. It seems though, and I, I also wanted to, it's the sense, sorry. Let me finish the sentence. This sends warm blood, fluids, and salts to the skin, setting off the process of evaporation. Problems occur when a person is in the heat for a long time or in such extreme of heat or humidity that the evaporation process fails. In prolonged heat exposure, the body sweats so much that it depletes itself of fluid and salts, leaving nothing to sustain the evaporation process. This process ceases. Body temperature, sores, and heat illnesses may result, including the most serious, which is heat stroke, which if Tim is not careful and spending all those time in the golf courses, I mean, this could be potential. Um, how do you know it's a heat stroke? Well, your body goes over a temperature of 103 degrees, you get red hot, dry skin, a rapid, strong heartbeat, which is probably why it's not good for him to be consuming so much coffee throbbing headache, dizziness, nausea, confusion, and then you get some unconsciousness. And it says here, <laughs> an ounce of prevention because heat stroke is so serious. And this is the, this is the Rush um, Medical Center. Uh, this particular person strongly advises focusing on prevention. This is especially true for people age 65 and older who are at higher risk for heat illness simply because the regulating mechanism becomes less effective with time. So the reason why Tim may be potentially not acclimating as well to his problems with the climate in the desert is because his hypothalamus is less effective. Your body is less effective with regulating this. So being 65 and putting yourself in these extreme temperatures, your body is going to have a harder time adjusting to it. So really it's potentially his is more age related as to why he's so affected by it than potentially the actual climate itself. It can take days to weeks, especially with humid climates, to adjust to it. So that's, I found was actually quite interesting. And um, so obviously if you have any cardiovascular or neurological conditions, you are at an increased risk for having heat stroke. So if Tim has any 
problems with his heart, he's going to have, uh, you know, it's going to be tougher on his body. Obviously, medications can interfere with things, and uh, that's part of it. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, probably not good for him to spend long periods of time out on these golf courses, especially he prefers to be out in the daytime when it's less expensive to get a tea time. And so he's potentially really, you know, out in these temperatures, he could, he's going to be affected by it potentially. All right, guys. I wanted just to say uh happy Father's Day to, like I said, all the folks out there who uh, watch, uh, especially those who also make content around Tim. If you're a dad, um, just, you know, realize that we recognize you and your roles that you play uh, in raising your children. If that's the case, not for Tim. <laughs> Tim did not mention once his own, what well, his own family um, or say anything about them calling or contacting, not in this video, at least. Anyway. All right, guys, if you did like this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We always appreciate that. And if you do uh, want to join my channel, we do have channel memberships. I certainly appreciate, appreciate, sorry, goodness me, appreciate all the people who uh, support this channel and thank you guys for your support. All right. I won't forget Tim and I'll see you on the next one.